Mr. Albers, uh, why did Verbatim uh, enter the filament market? Well, this is a really good question, uh, why Verbatim is uh, entering the filament market. Um, many people know Verbatim from the consumer business, the, co the storage consumer business. And that's an area where we are pretty strong. But uh, we have a very uh, good and strong uh, mother company, which is uh, engaged in the chemical industry, which is called Mitsubishi Chemical. And uh, with the help of Mitsubishi Chemical, we have uh, entrance to different kind of uh, plastic materials. There are different kind of daughter companies like Mitsubishi Polymer, Mitsubishi Plastics, uh, which are uh, all over the world, spread it all over the world. And we are gaining a lot of uh, knowledge from those companies using for our PLA ABS filaments. Well, we, th we think that this business is going to grow within the next uh, couple of years uh, tremendously. And with the experience that we have in supplies with CD, DVD, we know that this can become one of the booming markets in the coming uh, years. So therefore, we want to be one of the, the key players in the filament business in the near future. What's so different about Verbatim's filaments? Well, I think uh, uh, at first glance uh, it looks pretty uh, the same to many others, but at second glance we will notice that the, there's quite a quality difference. Well, the output is visible and uh, consumers will notice uh, that uh, we are using uh, very high-end plastic materials with uh, a nice consistent quality. What printers can you use it with? Well, a variety of printers are uh, compatible with our materials, so I would say the sky's the limit also here. What do you, uh, you wrote about uh, quality, Japanese quality standards. What is the quality standard you uh, want to achieve? Well, first of all, we use our own material coming from Mitsubishi Chemical. We're using our own recipe for the production of our plastics, like the own additives, which uh, create a very high uh, quality assumption to the user. And we are using in future more and more own technologies with certain special attributes, like, for example, the prim alloy material that we are introducing today to the market. Tell me a little bit more about the prim alloy, please. Well, the prim alloy is a thermoplastical material that offers a certain rubber flexibility. I may, may show it to you. We have it here. It's a, a material that you can use with nearly all printers. Also, a variety of printers are compatible with this uh, material. And you can see it's very, very flexible and always goes back to the original stated uh, position. What are use cases for the uh, prime alloy? Well, different user cases. It can be, for example, the toy industry. We had a, a company today here who is uh, in the toy industry and they have lots of interest in this kind of rubber material. But also architects might use uh, rubber-like materials for certain uh, products that they use for their industry. Great. Thank you very much.